Hey guys, I'm ah. gonna give my first big video on. I don't know if you guys know, but my baby brother's trying to eat. He's trying to eat me right now. Literally. Eat me. Eat. Like, not really. Literally. But like, he's trying. So, but anyway, today I will be doing an analysis on the Fun to Candies 3 minigame, minigame teaser trailer. I don't Tasty. remember if I posted a video or something Tasty. about news Tasty. about the Final Fantasy Candies 3, or I think I put that on Game Joel. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but here we go. Let's play the video. Thank you, Benjamin. He actually played the video. So first of all, it says, please don't hog the game. Share with everyone. Now, that's, of course, not surprising, because you need to share with people. But... First of all, look at the background, guys. Come on. It's a little weird. Huh. And then if you notice, that girl right there uh, that you play as, the one that's reading, um, that's actually the same girl from Final Fantasy Candies 2 from the last minigame thing, where she's crying because her baby brother's playing with the rat, I think. Oh, no. So maybe, I don't know, something happened, and now it's all weird. I'm not sure, but also if you notice the faces on the, uh, on the arcade machines. There's a girl on here, and then there's some weird bug-looking thing on here. Now, that could be the cat, or some kind of thing, or it might just be random things. Um, but yeah. Now, of course, obviously, we get a better look at the girl. And yes, it is the same group. And if you notice, she's little. She's more little. So, I guess it's, the timeline is going backwards. So, it starts at Final Fantasy Candies 3. Then the second game. Um, then the first game. Um, because she's a lot smaller. Her hair is a little bit smaller too um and if, if you notice the little cat origami thing is talking to her so yeah um also the song on game Joe is also known as dreamscape so if you notice look the, of course there's a bed she was probably sleeping or something and then look at this like little pixie stuff above the text the little white dots so that might be a path to some crazy dream thing. And of course, come on. Is your origami cat gonna talk to you? No. He's mean like that. And then secrets. Wait, I did say it was the song was called Dreamscape, right? Yeah, I think I did. Um, but anyway, yeah. So basically, there's secrets and stuff like that. So, she, I guess she's one of those girls that find out more things and then... She doesn't like it anymore, and then her baby brother gets caught. You're forgotten. So here's a more thing, little better image. As you guys can see, this is completely crazy. Everything's black, and yes, this isn't the house. Because everything else is black, but there are these little different shades of black um, along the... The... Along the... um the path like if you can see like right here where i'm circling there's a little bit of like these little gray lines so of course this is the stage now of course like look i love this theater so maybe everything's taken too seriously here um i don't know it does look depressing though Yeah, so here's a little bit of more thing. So you can still see the d little gray. So I guess that's probably just like some kind of a... Like in Pop Goes, I think there's a screen little thing. It's all dirty and stuff like that. I think that's fine at the candies too. I don't remember, but yeah. The shoes. Okay, so here, if you notice, you can see the rat like crawling close to the girl. That's why she's running. 
Um, and then there's these little circles down. And then, if you notice, you can see the little per pixelized purple um, from the demo. You know, you can see, like, when you see the rat, there's, like, this little blood kind of texture thing, but it's, like, purple. Um, yeah, you can see that they were pixelized, of course. And then, so the girl's running, and then this rat that looks like a pony because of its tail is chasing her. So obviously it's probably something to do with that flip side thing for FNAF World. And then Final Fantasy Candy 3. And then Fishing with Candy. And first of all, this game looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like one of those little old arcade games where they have like the high... Benjamin, what'd you do? Where they have like the high score thing and everything. Which might hint us to what year this is. So I'm gonna do another analysis video. Um, and like it might be the age Pac-Man was around or something like that. I don't know. But um, first of all, you can see that the fish, Benjamin, the fish go up and then they go down. Um, and then basically you have to catch the fish. And then the penguin comes in. And then he, uh, takes the fish that are on the floor. So, I don't know what that does. But, also, if we go back, you can see that there's a boot. Right, let me move my webcam. That there's a boot, right, wait, can I make this smaller? No, I can't. That there's this boot. Now... Obviously, if you were fishing, you wouldn't catch a boot. So there might be something like that you lose stuff. And there's proof here because there's hearts at the top. Um, so that might be some kind of thing that if you don't get fish, then you lose one. So, um, yeah. But anyway... Now, second of all, it looks like she's in a restricted area because if you can see right here, clearly you can, I hope you can see that there's this little, um, what's it called? Those locker things? Um, and, uh, yeah, but, like, it's a locker, basically, and... I don't think you need a locker in a pizzeria, so when it says secrets before this, I guess that means she goes into a restricted area or something. She sees something she doesn't want to see, and then later in the future, you know, things happen, and yeah. Um, yeah. Also, one of the things you can notice, too, is that, um... Let's go to meals. There's this one. The original trailer. So first of all, Perfect. um, what is Earth, Benjamin? Go, we go, go! Ah! He's scared of me. We have this rat. Ah! It's the same rat. Ah! 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 That's the same rat from Final to Candy's one. Now, first of all, Evet, it's a man. First of all, this looks completely different. That looks completely different from this. Now, first of all, 
This probably has something to do with dreams and the nightmares chasing you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, um, also you can tell about this kid. So that could be the kid, um, from that other mini game thing from the second game where the rat touches the kid. Um, or like, I don't know, karate chops him or whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, like, oh, I just, I just pictured that weird. But anyway, um, yeah, so, like I said, that's a lot different from what I just showed you. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to do it again. Memories. So here's the other thing, because it says memories. Now, this could be taking place around the second game, because it says memories, and then of course we have the little girl. Now, that's actually a lot smaller than this girl. That, like, this over here is almost like toddler size. So, I'm thinking this doesn't take place in the same age as this because she got a little taller um yeah huh. another thing is you can see the feet down there so definitely this is a smaller kid and it's still us so this is probably like before this because obviously it says memories so it's not only that these things are memories or flashback things but yeah these are like like i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but yeah and then the whole thing about hello it's me obviously it's in blue color same color as a little cat origami thing. Now it looks like it's gonna be that like mentor thing, introduce introducing thing. And um yeah. And if we go back here to the pizzeria or whatever this place is, theater. I don't know. As you can see, this kid is small here, too. So, it looks like we're small in the pizzeria, but taller because, like, so in the dreams, those are now. Like, basically, it's like dreams or something like that. So, the pizzeria scenes are little kids. So, yeah, see, this is even taller. Um, so, like, back to what I was saying, this, this part right here is, like, now, not, like, not 2017, but, like, when the night takes place in, um, and then basically, you know, she's just dreaming, and she's like, ah, and then there's everything else, she's just having nightmares chasing her and everything, and then the past, and then, as you can see, She's smaller in here, too. Um, yeah. Or we could just, like, I guess, uh, 
I mean, well, no, we have to see what time is this, please. 